What up? I hate the rich. I hate them with passion. And no, by rich I don't mean the fortunate workers or small capital owners. I mean the people well above the 1%, those who own the world. People who relate to you less than you relate to stray dogs. People like the Koch brothers, the Walton family, Gina Reinhardt, Peter George Peterson and many more. Fuck all of them. Now, there's a phrase you have probably heard before, eat the rich. It started as an abbreviation of the old saying, when the poor have nothing more to eat, they will eat the rich. And now it's used by people like me in response to rich bastards being evil. Whether it is said jokingly or seriously, I'd like to propose that it's actually justified in my moral system, which is a common one. Let me explain how. First of all, the moral system in question. It is centered around human well-being, pretty standard stuff. So roughly speaking, actions that decrease human well-being are considered morally negative, actions that increase human well-being are considered positive, and others are considered morally neutral. Death in my moral system is the worst possible thing because it doesn't just decrease well-being. It makes well-being impossible. No well-being without being, right? So, killing people is off-limits. With one important exception. Self-defense. You can kill or harm another person when you are trying to prevent them from killing or harming you or another person. And this is where the fork meets Donald Trump's ass. Just how immediate and direct does the threat have to be to start defending your life? Does the perpetrator have to point a gun at you to justify the defense? What if you are hooked up to a machine that keeps you alive and that person reaches for the off switch? It's the same, isn't it? But what if instead they make sure you are denied healthcare, so you still end up dying, but slower? What really killed you? Your treatable illness? Or the person who put the barriers between you and your recovery? I think it's the latter. The hypothetical anti-healthcare fuckface has your blood on his hands, and you should be able to defend yourself against people like that. Eat the rich. Let's take an alternative route. If a person poisons your food, that person is most probably trying to harm or kill you, so you should be allowed to stop them. But what if instead the poisoner owns several coal power plants in your area, producing ungodly amounts of pollution, including airborne mercury, which ends up in water and then in fish? Being unaware of those things, because the rich guy has paid everyone to shut up, and being a big fan of King Mackerel and Big Eye Tuna, you keep eating poison, and eventually the damage to your brain becomes unsustainable, and you die. Long story short, rich fuckface knowingly poisoned you to death to save some money. Should you be able to defend yourself and others against this kind of shit? Yes. Eat the rich. There are many ways how rich bastards can kill you. One of the best examples is the tobacco industry, where rich pieces of shit make money by reducing people's lifespans. And let's keep it clear, what those rich bastards are doing is still murder, even if it has a couple extra steps. And no, despite all the brainwashing we have been subjected to, killing people to save profits is not better than killing people for fun. If someone is trying to kill you, you should defend yourself. Hence, eat the rich. Now for the small postscriptum. With all the talk about sacrificing people for profits, the stupidest thing is how those parasites drain society of resources instead of letting them go into healthcare and science to move the future chasm closer and make sure they, along with others, can see the time when indefinite life extension becomes reality. Their priorities are so fucked, they might just be causing their own demise. Sadly, not fast enough. Have a pleasant and productive day. Unless you're a billionaire. In which case, fuck you.